we've stocked the house up like you can see we've got avocados i'm really obsessed about health, eating healthy lately which is good i've got some of my sourdough bread i've got the kids own bread i've got loads of supplies for the kids as you can see the basics the fridge seems to be stuffed as well and then yeah breakfast start with this one. Oh, okay so this is yours thank you lucy beth Although I'm on holidays, I decided to make sure that I don't fall off the wagon on all the hard work I did. And I'm here to show you that although you're on holiday, you can still eat right, eat healthy and make right choices. I went to the local supermarket and I bought a lot of supplies. You can see I have bananas, apples. Um, I bought some healthy bread, avocado and just bits and bobs so that I don't find myself eating out. So I'm about to have some popo. Papaws are so, so sweet and so nourishing, packed full with loads of minerals and vitamins. And more importantly, it's two times higher than an apple in terms of the vitamin C content and three times a banana. So it's a win-win. So I bought one and I just could not wait on the first day to have it with some lemon. And that was my part of my breakfast. And it also is very high in fiber. So it relieves you from constipation. I decided to put a salad together because when I went to the shops, I bought a lot of salads and I just ruffled um, a quick one together. And um, the good thing about this is I made up my sauce with some lemon. I didn't buy any sauce, some lemon, a bit of honey and a drop of salt. And that was my dressing done. I had some avocado in it and I toasted two pieces of bread. This looked like a big breakfast, but it's very nutritious. Will keep me going because we're going to the football field later. And this is what brought me to Portugal with my family, my son, has a football tournament and they'll grab. So I'll have a good breakfast. The kids had a healthy breakfast full of fiber and will keep us all going longer before we hit the field. Wish us luck. And I'll take you guys along the next few days and just showing you what I ate and how I tried to maintain my healthy lifestyle while abroad as well and just generally and if this is the first time you've seen this channel consider subscribing i do a lot of videos on healthy content i've been on a vegan journey which is not 100 percent yet but we're hoping to get there okay i'll talk to you later I got we got a taxi and we're driving to Silvers, which is a city about 50 minutes away from where we are in Caviero. And um, the weather is beautiful, not too hot, not too cold, but the sun was, <laughs> was quite high. And we got to the football pitch. This was the first match. And um, as soon as I got there, guess what happened? I'm just trying to show you what it looks like when we go on tours. A lot of people keep asking, oh, you're having so much fun. It could be fun, but we do have a lot of football and this is what primarily brought us here. With kids, it's not that easy feeding them, carrying them, but I love my job like a mom and like a soccer mom. <laughs> later. Three games later and no defeat with a draw and two wins. I got back home and I'm going to show you guys around the resort. We're staying in Colina Village. It's a beautiful family resort in Caviero in Portugal, very close to the Algrave. And they actually have two locations, one in Silvers and one here. It's beautiful. My first impressions was it's really family oriented, especially because it's so quiet and you have apartments to yourself so you can the kids can make noise without stressing your neighbors and the fact that they have like a nice restaurant on site next to the pool area i can only imagine when it's really warm when you visit because when we got here it was the weather was not it's about 14 15 degrees so it's a bit chilly at night and the restaurant has only just opened look at this look at this scenery this is just beautiful and i think that only just opened for the season 
And I love the sun sets before. It's so beautiful, so picturesque. Anyway, let's get into the restaurant and see what it has to offer. Put, put the one on the left. Hello. Are you open? Yes. It's nice and warm here. First impressions walking to the restaurant. It's quite dated. It's not as modern as you'll imagine, but that seems to be the theme. It's got an Arabian sort of theme. Very basic, and um, but the view. I knew that they had like um, a kids park and a tennis court, but I didn't realize that it was just behind the restaurant. So this is good if you've got family of maybe older kids and while you're ordering or eating they can be out weather permitting and if it's safe to do so that's a plus for me we're about to choose what we we'll eat and i wanted something quick but most of the vegan options will take longer because they had just one chef so i went a bit naughty after a while and i'm not proud of it <laughs> it actually says it in english it does You want that? Pasta? Huh? You want a burger? Okay. Do you want some? I ordered um, tagliatelle with some creamy sauce as well as salmon. And um, they I asked for some hot sauce, which they gave. So it was overall a decent meal. I had not eaten this sort of food in a few weeks. So I felt a bit bloated and I could not even go half of it. It mainly wasted. Anyway, after spending some time here, it was time to leave. But it was a pleasant surprise to go. Honestly, they have like a lit up pool in the night. Imagine when it's so warm and this pool is full of residents having fun lying down, having a drink. It is just in fact beautiful this was like the a nice surprise icing on the cake really beautiful so we are headed off home to go and sleep we've had a hectic day and i'll see you guys tomorrow I very much doubt I have anything to say. Oats is um, very good. It's a superfood in my opinion. And I had it with some bananas and strawberries. Simple to the point. High in fiber. And will keep me full all day while I do my activities. It's a completely different group. Yeah. Than yesterday. I always like to remind you guys that I'm here for football. And this is day two. Beautiful results again. And they have drawn twice. Not lost any. And it's time to go to the playground. After playing around the playground, we sweated and it was time for the pool. So I'm taking you down behind a separate route to where the indoor pool area is and the outdoor pool area is. I'm exploring and I'm exploring with you guys. It's, as I said, it's quite child friendly, but the indoor pool area was closed, unfortunately, and outdoor is not heated. So my only criticism is in this weather when it's not really hot you can't swim the water was freezing we, we tried but we did not succeed we came ready to swim at least if it was heated outdoors we could do that for a bit but anyway we just relaxed the kids just lay down on the sun beds and i took some beautiful pictures is that not what holidays are about and i looked hot in my bikini or would i say my three-piece suit so and um, we took some pictures and that was relaxing. literally the end of the holiday but this is the end of the tour and i'll have the next video talking about the football experience how the boys did and i had a massive proud moment like a mother and i'll take you guys along thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye